Hi everyone, welcome to this edition of Life Thoughts. Good to be with you all. Um, we had a great day Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, really good sense of God's presence uh, in the service as we talked about uh, that tough subject of uh, stop trying and get into training. Right. And of course, the, one of the main verses from 1 Timothy 4, 7 was train yourself in godliness. Now, I wanted these sessions to talk a little bit about some things that we didn't quite get to in the service, in the sermon, and we didn't, didn't really talk an awful lot about what it means to be godly. And so, you know, we're, if, when we're, if we say to ourselves, we're gonna stop trying, which sometimes when we say, I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to lose weight, I'm trying to uh, uh, be a better person, a lot of times we use that to, to let ourselves off the hook and we don't have maybe a serious commitment to really doing it, which is training. And, and my word, do you remember the sports days when we were in all our different sports teams? You were in netball and in athletics teams, and I was in soccer and rugby and cricket, running and all that. I always hated the training days, did you? Mm -hmm. They can be really tough, but you have to put in the hard graft if you want to win, if you want to get the results. So we know training is really important in life for anything, whether you're training teachers or training people down at Sorders, all that stuff's important in order to do a good job. And it's the same in the Christian life, training's crucial. But we're training ourselves in, in godliness. So let's talk a little bit about that. What does that mean to you, uh, training in actual godliness? And by the way, it's mentioned 24 times wow. in uh, Timothy and Peter mm -hmm. talks about godliness. So what's that mean to you? Well, to me, it means, first of all, how much I need the Lord to help me to train to be godly. Because godliness is not a human thing. Right. And we as humans are so limited and we get put off so easily and people hurt our feelings. And sometimes it's, it's legitimate. Sometimes we've really been badly hurt by people and it affects our lives and so we totally need the Lord in our lives to help us to train to be godly to be that presence of the Lord in situations where forgiveness is needed or patience or love towards somebody and you know I know we, we raised four kids and we both were working and it's tough and it's hard and you know you get stressed you don't have enough money to make it through or whatever and what are we going to do and then in ministry a lot of times you know we were in church planting situations and uh, it was difficult because you didn't have the people that you felt like could help Lord why have you called us here what are we supposed to do and you know what that's the first thing call to the Lord and say Lord help Mm. because I want to be like you and I can't on right. my own yeah mm. and so that just the very way he puts it train yourself we always think we're just gonna if God wants me to be godly I'm mm. just gonna be zapped and I'm just gonna be automatically be godly but Timothy puts in in a, in a different light it's almost like James where he says you need faith but faith without works is it's dead. dead. It's like there's a human element there's here. There's work to be done. There's work to be done. There's, yeah. a, there's a cooperation. I know you train teachers uh, for years, for actually. many, many years, and some of them would come in and kicking and screaming, mm -hmm. saying, "I hate my job." Mm -hmm. So how did you turn that around in the training? Like, well, I remember one particular time I was teaching at a university in Nashville, and one teacher, a young woman, came in and she threw down her file on the desk you know it was a full class of teachers she threw down her file and she burst into tears and she said i can't do this anymore it's too hard yeah and you know the first thing that i noticed because straight away there i was as the teacher uh and trainer of them all and i just waited to see what was going to happen and everybody else in the in the room came around her mm. and you know what they said we know it is tough yeah. to be a teacher yeah. and you're not alone 
Right, you're not alone. It was yeah. so amazing to, to experience that. Yeah. And then, you know, obviously... Not this competition. No. A lot of times with teachers, you can yeah. get into a competition with each other. But Right. Well, anybody, it, not just teachers. I mean, you can hear the gossiping and stuff. Oh, did you see the state she was in? And did you see him lose it and all this? And we, we almost become each other's worst nightmare instead of being Christ to each other yeah. in a situation. Right. And I think that's part of being godly. Mm -hmm. Also forgiving people, mm -hmm. supporting people. Mm -hmm. uh, I would go on and say being consistent. You know, a lot of times we can be very inconsistent. As Christians, I look at my own life and I think, oh my gosh, when I look back, I think, I was very inconsistent with certain things. Mm -hmm. But I think training yourself to be godly, you're also training yourself to be more disciplined, more loving, more caring, mm -hmm. more compassionate, um, more reliable, all things like that that are really right. important. And open to what you need to work on. Yeah. As the Lord reveals things to, to us, you know, not push away and say, oh no, that's too hard. But say, okay, Lord, if I'm to work on this and I'm to get better at this, yeah. please help me to do it. That's really important. What is, what is God trying to teach me? How is God trying to help me be better right now? What area is He working on? We have to be humble, life? humble enough yeah. to receive that from the Lord, yeah. right? Yeah. Because sometimes we we feel I'm justified in how I behaved and I'm justified in what I said. Yeah. But it takes humility to say, oh yes, Lord, I'm sorry, I didn't do that well. Please help me to do it better. Yeah. So let's train to be godly. Mm -hmm. Let's keep pushing forward in our spiritual lives. Let's be open to what God is saying to us right now about how he's wanting to develop our character. Yes. Obviously, it's all through the Holy Spirit too, you know. Godliness, we said, isn't a human thing. It's not, I can't produce godliness. Right. God produces God through his Holy Spirit in my life, becoming more like Jesus. But we have to put ourselves, you know, I being in the way the Lord led me. Right. You have to put yourself into that position in order to do it. You have to get into God's training college. That's right. <laughs> anyway, great to see you. Yeah. We'll uh, see you next week. Oh, see you yes. Sunday. Bye.